So I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be tiny, small, fairly small, because I wasn't actually even gonna do this video today. I was thinking about doing it on something else, but as you can see here on the table, there is nothing. Because, behind me, right there, Yep, right there. New tripod. Yeah, I got a new tripod and I really got it for one main reason, kind of two, and I'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so that box back there has the newer professional heavy duty video camera tripod, 64 inches or 163 centimeters. Uh, load capacity of 17.6 pounds or 8 kilograms. Right now coming in at $136 Canadian. Of course a little cheaper if you get it in the US because it's US dollars. So why did I get this tripod? Well, I wanted something primarily to be able to hold my slider. For those of you that have watched our videos here for a little bit, you realize that I bought a slider and I haven't really been able to use it much because my table that I do this stuff on isn't overly wide. So I wasn't actually able to get really the product and the slider on the table to get the shot. I wanted to have a tripod that was heavy duty enough to be able to hold the slider which I'm hoping this will be. So that was probably the biggest one. That was the biggest reason. The other one is that the majority of my existing tripods that I have now are really designed to hold really like photo cameras. So being able to hold my M50 on this one, as well as my RP on this one, they don't need a lot of weight, but again, when you get a lighter tripod, both of these are actually carbon fiber tripods, which are great for travel, but they're also light, like I said. And because of that, when you're in a scenario where there's a chance of movement or you're doing something where there's a lot of people around, light can easily be knocked over. So in scenarios like that, a heavy tripod can be really beneficial. Even little things like if you're trying to do time lapse, sometimes a nice big heavy tripod can be useful because of the fact that it's really well planted. Is it less convenient? Yeah, without question. A little bit of this with that. Again, primarily this was gonna be bought for my slider. Having that tripod also being able to be used for all kinds of other stuff is gonna be a huge benefit. At least, at least I think so. So let's let's crack it open. I'm gonna bring it over here. I can't put it on the table because the table's not big enough for it. This this is it right here. You can see how big of a box it kind of comes in. So that's, that's kind of it. It's a good size box and I'm just gonna quickly you guys can see it, I think. Open it up. And I don't even know if this comes in a bag or anything. So this is just as big a surprise for me as it is for you guys. So firstly, it's a box in a box. And just so you guys are aware, my shoulder. I was cleaning the garage and we were working on the backyard the last few days. Ah, oh, I have to say, getting old, never good. Recovery just doesn't happen the same. Okay, so here it is. This is it, I'll kind of just tip it down a little bit. This is the newer NW3500. Now, I bought this one because there is a newer version of the newer, but it was considerably more expensive. And for what I needed it, there really wasn't any features on it that warranted me spending more money. So I bought this one. The price of this one, just so you guys know, has actually been going up. And I think it's because of the Canadian dollar not doing very well right now. I wanted to buy it now before for one, it sold out and they didn't have any of the older model left. And two, the dollar decided to go even worse and it got more expensive. All right, let's crack it open. So it does come with a bag. That's excellent. Okay, so here's here's the bag. Is it anything fancy? No, it doesn't even have their name on it, which I guess is kind of good actually. Little handle and I don't know if it does for sure, but it does have these little points. There's one on this side. There's one over here for a strap. Now, I wonder if there's a strap actually in the bag. Yep, strap in the bag. So I'm gonna actually put that on because I think that's a great way to carry it. And actually that's kind of, kind of nice. I'm, I'm impressed so far. So first thing to see in the bag, there's this, and this is actually where the head goes. So the head goes in this piece, and I've never seen that actually in a tripod bag before where it protects the head. So that's actually kind of cool. It wraps around. You know you got the right side, I guess, in. That's interesting. And the bag itself, 
little bit of padding, not a lot, but a little bit. Okay, so here's everything down here. You guys aren't necessarily seeing it all, but I'll bring everything up because I don't have my top camera running right now. You do get uh, a little bag with all the little Allen keys in it. So hopefully you guys can see that right there. There's all the Allen keys that you need to tighten anything on this tripod. That's useful, I think. Some silica gel, that is that is what it is. And your handle, which is super important because as this is a video primarily tripod, that, that's gonna be very handy to move around. On the bottom, you do get some nice feet. Now these also can pop off. You just kind of pull these parts off here which will allow you to have a different ball. But if you're, let's say on a hardwood floor or you're outside somewhere where you are gonna be concerned with some damage or you just wanna make sure this is nice and flush, these are gonna be handy. Plus they have almost like a little traction on the bottom, which is super nice. Plus it's super easy to get these off. That's all right. As far as extensions right here, these little flip outs, just gotta pop those out and the legs will kind of come up and down. Now this is your head, of course. Actually, see if I can bring this closer. This is gonna be the head here. So you are gonna be able to loosen this to be able to take the plate out. On the side over here, this is where your handle is gonna be in so you can adjust it to where you want it. Same thing, it does have the ability, which is nice to be able to put handle on left or right side, depending if you're left or right handed. Uh, you have a lock and loose, so this one here is gonna be able to change the tension on how this pivots, which is really nice. So hopefully you guys can see that right there. There's a locker loose right there. So the looser it gets, this kind of just floats. Now, the one thing is, is no matter how loose you get this, as of now, it's kind of got a fair bit of tension on it. Is that okay? I think so, I don't, I don't necessarily need it to be like super loosey-goosey. And if you tighten that right up, of course, that becomes snug. This one down here, spin it around some more. This one down here, pivot, should loosen this guy right here, and a tighten, should tighten that up. All right, again, for me, real concern here is the slider. So I'm gonna set up the slider just to see how well it fits. And just so you guys can see beforehand, here's the plate. There's the plate that it comes with, just in case you guys were curious. It feels like it's probably a traditional plate like you would use on a Manfrotto. I can't be 100% sure though, but it looks like the same kind of size. All right, I'm gonna put the slider on, hold on. Oh yeah, just in case you guys didn't see, there's that nice little spread, that's handy. This little piece here, this, you could put some weight on it because it's almost got a little platform, so if you wanted to put something on there to help keep it down or stable, it's there, that's nice. Okay, so this is kind of good height for me right now for this. I would actually have it probably lower if I was actually using the sliders because I want it level with the table. But it shouldn't have any concerns right now. The one thing you guys, hopefully I'm in focus. The one thing you guys do want to be aware of is that use the Allen keys because out of the box, you may have to tighten the legs. Give them a good snug, take the tripod, give it a push down, see if it moves. If it does, tighten them up. All right guys, so all set up, all tightened. Few things to kind of realize for this. The handle down here allows you to pivot the head. So the head can pivot and then you can tighten it, which, which is great. So if you didn't get your legs perfectly straight, you can still pivot the head. Putting the handle on, super easy. It's just a tighten and it has some notches in it so that you can fine tune and adjust where the handle is. Again, you do wanna make sure you tighten the legs because for me, when I put this on or put some weight on it, the legs did move up and down a bit. So tighten them with your Allen keys that came with it. I think this is gonna work perfectly for me. Easily able to move this around, pivot that straight. I can adjust my handle just to get up a little bit here. There's my slider. Again, right now it's up high. It'll come down here about table length. And the issue for me was that a lot of my lenses don't have the ability to focus close. I'd have to get way back here to be able to get focused properly, or back here at least, so I couldn't get the shots that I wanted. Now I can put my camera on here, put my slider up here, put my items here on the table and get a good shot. And for me, this is plenty smooth. You know, just those movements, you can see the plenty smooth. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. Of course, if you're looking for a high-end tripod, you're gonna go higher than this newer. But for me, shooting on a budget and really only having a specific purpose and need 
for this. I think this is going to be great. Love the fact that it came with a case, came with a shoulder strap, and build quality seems good. It's not crazy heavy and holds my slider, holds my cameras. 17 pounds, almost 18 pounds. That's lots. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you there. I think this is kind of cool, actually. I'm really happy to have this. I used to have an old man Frodo that was just like this, paid a lot of money, ended up selling it because I didn't use it, of course, years ago. Now I'm buying another one. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Link down below if you're interested in picking up one of these. Of course, any of the purchases you get from those links help the channel, and that's super appreciated. And that's it. Yeah. Slider shots. They're going to be happening. All right, my friends. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.